Um, <coughs> okay, so this, you know, a lot of, yes, I'm sure a lot of people suffer from long-term anxiety or depression or various things like that. And these things can go on and on. I mean, the, what I often suggest to people is to do A Course in Miracles, feel the feelings and the observer on them. You know, if you read something like uh, The Course in Miracles and it says, like, uh, I don't know, like, you, the light of the world exists in you or you're the light of the, you're the light of the world. Let's say it says you're like the world and you're feeling like, well, I don't feel like the light of the world. I feel depressed or I feel anxious, you know. So I, 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 am I doing it wrong? Uh, you know, or, or uh, you know, why can't I get this lesson? I've been doing it like every hour for the whole day and I don't feel anything like the light of the world. You know, I feel more like the darkness in the world or something, whatever it is. So, so then the ego can self-attack or say you're doing it wrong or you don't get the lesson or I've already done 15 lessons and it hasn't gone yet and it's still feeling dark, you know, or I've done like 100 lessons or 300 lessons and it's still feeling dark. So, that's the, the, the thing with that is that once you get to these high stakes, you realize that what this is doing is it's slowly er eradicating the ego. You know, because, you know, when you're in depression or anxiety, it's like you're tuned into radio anxiety or radio depression. All your thoughts are like de depressive, like there's no hope, you know, there's no point. Uh, or, you know, I'm anxious that, you know, this thing won't get resolved, you know, or whatever it is. So. That's that vibration. So let's say uh, it's a low vibration on the radio scale. So if you start affirming things on a higher vibration, like I am the light of the world, God is the love in which I forgive you, I pray for a miracle to see this depression differently, I pray for a miracle to see the anxiety differently. Um, even though those thoughts seem to be very, very far away from the thoughts that you're attracting, it's slowly tuning you in to those higher vibrations. Obviously, that you know, each vibration is tries to defend it itself, if that makes sense. So, if you're like having thoughts in your head like "there's no hope," "it's gloomy," uh, "the whole world's miserable," "there's no hope for humanity," and if you're having that go on like thousands of times every day, and you try and say, "I am the light of the world," "I am the light of the world," every hour there's going to be a huge resistance to taking on because it's at such a high vibration. Uh, they often say when people do the Course in Miracles, like when I do the Course in Miracles, I forget what I've you know, read. Well, you know, if I told you like to remember something horrible, you could probably remember it for the whole day. <laughs> so, you know, like, like this politician is bad. And like, do you remember what I said last week? Yeah, you said that politician is bad. If I read out like a passage from A Course in Miracles and ask you to quote it next week, you're like, no. I, if anyone can, you know, I've got to give them a gold medal or something, you know, because those stuff, the ego doesn't want to retain. The ego does not want to retain things that are very high vibration. So you're literally like washing the ego of its darkness with these repetitive high vibration thoughts, which are so hard. The ego doesn't want to remember them. You know, it's, it would kill the ego to try and remember it constantly. That's the whole point of it. That's why the, the Course is telling you to do it, you know, to, dis, to disrupt. Uh, the, the beliefs. The thing with anxiety, I was in terrible fear, constant fear uh, and gloom in my addiction days. And you know, one day while doing my spiritual work, it was like a cloud of fear just released and never came back. You know, I'd lived my whole life with this cloud of fear. So they are finite, I share from my experience. Even if you've lived your whole life in this cloud of fear, one day it left and never came back. So, and it was such a you know, it's like if you've lived your whole life with something, you just can't believe or have any experience that it would never leave. Because you don't. You just know your life is fear. And then the day it left, it was so miraculous. It was like losing a coat that I thought I was. I don't know if that makes sense. The, the thing is like, you know, the whole thing with spirituality is, you know, the truth of what I am cannot be taken away from me. But that which I'm not can be. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, if, I, if, there's like, if I'm holding on to clouds of fear and anxiety and depression and lots of negative thoughts, um, those things can be released from me. But who, who I am, my essence, the peace and the love, 
and the stillness within, that can't be removed. So if you do spiritual work, well, everything will remove apart from what's left. Does that make sense? Um, I mean, Hawkins' thing, and I, this is also correlates to my experience, I'm not just saying, is like these huge things of feelings are related to levels of consciousness. And as you elevate to another level of consciousness, these huge clouds of things start to pass away. And you start to experience a more elevated level of consciousness. So if you just feel your feelings and do the course regularly, you, eventually these huge clouds do pass and you go to a more elevated level. You don't want to, I mean, the course is like, on some level, well, it's actually um, contemplation. So every, every, you're supposed to filter it, like, I'm the light <coughs> of the world, or I pray for a miracle to see this. It's like you're just filtering the world through that lens of that lesson for the day. So, and it gradually shifts everything uh, within the ego. It starts to transform from darkness to light. Um, the trick is, you know, you don't want to... Uh, when you're doing the course, you're like, you're, like the course is at a very high vibration and your thinking is at a very low vibration. So as soon as you start thinking about how you're doing, or if you're doing it right, your ego is not going to be your friend. You know, you haven't done it perfectly enough, or you haven't done it well enough, or something like that. So it's just to do it, you know, it's an action thing. You just do, I think the course really taught me discipline and just do it, whether you understand what you're doing or not, or whether you like it or not. Just do it and it will have its effect. If you try and understand it or have a dialogue about it, your, your ego is not your friend. It will, you know, so it will, it will, um, it will sabotage the process. Um, the other thing is, you know, spiritual work should be consistent. You know, if you're like suffering from depression or anxiety, and you start to feel better because you're doing lots of spiritual work, and you stop doing spiritual work. Uh, and then you'll suddenly find that those old things that used to trigger you so much will start triggering you again. Uh, the, thing, that, the thing with that to understand is this is a world of constant programming. You know, you, like if, say uh, if I, uh, let's say I used to th I had a, this belief that um, thin is good. Thin is good, you know, the thinner you are, the better you are. I mean, if you go out, like if, let's say I cancel my belief in that, thousands, thousands, and then I'm, I'm no longer believe that. And then if I stopped doing my spiritual work and went into the world, you know, there'd be hundreds of adverts everywhere. There'd be people talking about it non-stop. You get reprogrammed, I don't know if that makes sense. The world will quickly re-imprint you with negativity. So if you're like, if you've got something serious like anxiety or depression, and then you do a lot of spiritual work and you feel a bit of relief, I'm not so depressed now, I've been doing this course for like three months, I feel happy. And then you stop doing it for like another three months and then you see your neighbor, and they start making you depressed again. And that's because you've, got, you've accumulated stuff by not keeping on top of your spiritual game. So you just, you wanna, I mean, for me, it's, a, it's, a, it's like always releasing more layers of the onion. So you're just releasing more and more, and that should be like a devotion. You shouldn't like, taking a rest for me is like allowing the world to like program you more, if that makes sense. So. As soon as you go on the bus, see 100 adverts, and then you speak to someone who says how negative the world is, you know, that's taking on a lot of stuff. So you've got to have like a daily, like a daily clean. You know, like Course in Miracles is like a toothbrush cleaning away what, what you're picking up in the world on a regular basis. So otherwise you, you revert back. Um, huge, you know, don't, don't buy into the belief system these things can't be released. But also know that the ego, one of the things with the ego is like you can do spiritual work and actually you are getting better but your ego discounts it. And other people often tell you you're a lot better but then if you ask your ego you say well you're still as bad as you were on day one so it's not working. That's not necessarily true. So keep going and, uh, and uh, you probably find if you speak to people and you're doing consistent spiritual work others will let you know that you are making progress. Uh, if you ask your ego, you'll say it didn't, it'll probably say that all this spiritual work didn't do anything and you're still as bad as you were 10 years ago. <laughs>